No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not near the prison. I'm waiting for him near the bus station. Oh my god. How many times we got to go over this? Mom, you're making it out like he's Pablo Escobar or something. It's. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know how much it was. I was there. It was a lot. But he's my best friend. Yeah. And plus, if it wasn't for him, we'd all gotten busted. Yeah, mama, mom, I know, I know. I gotta call you back, okay? Okay, bye. There he is. Fresh out of prison. Hey. You did it, brother. Shit. Okay, that's you. <laughs> hey, I can't believe it, man. You took your jumpsuit. Uh, yeah. Yeah? A memento, I guess. It uh, kind of stuck with me after six years. I can dig it. We can put it on the wall, frame it like it's your championship jersey. Everybody got to come in and take a picture with it. They'd be like, I don't think so. No? Okay. Fine. <laughs> oh, uh, I hope you're hungry, though. Because I brought your favorite. No, I don't. You know it, Brad. Oh, I'm going to kill for one of those right now. Oh, hey, 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 relax, man. We don't want you to go back in there. Yeah. You ain't gotta kill no more. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. A little joggy joke, you know? Too soon? Baby? You think? A little bit. Un poquito. Come on, little. This you Man, I miss this so much. <laughs> yeah, you used to order like three at a time when we were in college. <laughs> True, I was a little hog boy. Nah, you weren't. Man, look at this. These used to be tight on me. Had a kangaroo coat for a stomach. Okay, maybe a little. Can I... Can I see your papers? Yeah, go nuts. Well, it doesn't get any more realer than that. You're a free man. Cheers to that. Dun dun. Mmm. My bad. Man! What? Okay, look, I can. I clean it. I clean it. Dude, what are you doing? Well, no, it's, 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 it's better just to remove the stain with one big lick and then you just. Here. You just. Ta 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 ta. You dab it with some napkins. That way it doesn't, you know, spread everywhere. Who says that? Says me, man. And everybody. I, one time before a job interview, I spilled syrup on my resume, and then I licked it off with one clean swipe. Yeah. See, look, you... I mean, I didn't say I got the job, but still. Uh, well, it's not that bad, I guess. Could be worse. <laughs> yeah, it could be worse, man. You out of that shit, hole. Shit, man, I still can't believe it. Six years? Yeah. Crazy. Hey, by the way, man, I really appreciate you letting me stay with you until I find a job. Yeah, of course, man. Of course, like I said, I got plenty of room for you. Hey, it's gonna be fun, man. Like college all over again. Yeah, but I promise, as soon as I get a job, I hope you hey, get the rent. Hey, hey, stop. Stop that, man. Look, I got you. All right, I'm making more than enough to cover the rent. And because of your clothing line. You damn right, because of my clothing line. Say that again, that sounds pretty good. Because of your clothing line. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going well, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it is actually. Mm -hmm. You know, to be honest, man, I really wasn't expecting it to be this much work. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of taking up my whole life, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's part of the reason why I couldn't visit you at all the last few months. But yeah, anyway, man. like I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Hey, look, and... don't worry about it. Okay. I totally understand. But if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I got pretty good at doing dishes and sweeping floors, so. I'll keep that in mind. 
I got a French maid outfit in the closet. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's get out of here. I got to show you something. Right, here we are. Holy shit, this is your house? Oh, no, 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 man. This is the share pad we're staying at for the night. What? Share pad? Right, share pad wasn't really a thing when we were in college. Wait, wait, I'm confused. If this isn't your house, then why are we here? Okay, so we rented this house to stay at for the night. Who's we? Okay, now, nah, we rented it from, uh... What's, what's, his, what's his name? Uh, oh, it's uh, Dylan Baker. What? The, the house. It's Dylan Baker's. No, who the fuck is Dylan Baker? Did you say that Kate was coming here today? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Look, look, look. Let's rewind a bit. Okay, look, first off, a share pad is like a hotel, but you can stay at random people's houses. That sounds like a terrible idea. But actually, it's a million dollar idea. And also, Kate and I, we were planning to throw you a little surprise party for you getting out of prison. A surprise party? It was more so her idea, not mine. Also, she invited Allison and Pete. What? So. No. Yeah. No, man, I'm not ready to see them yet. I mean, I mean, because look, Allison's one thing, but Pete. Okay, I know, man. I know, I know. Look, it, it may seem like it could be a lot, all right? But you know, let's just, let's just, let's just try. It could be fun. Man, can, can we just go back to your house, get a case of beer, and just drink till we pass out or something? I'm serious. I know who you are. All right, but we can do the same thing here. Okay, come on, come on. Let's at least just, just take a look inside. All right? Maybe it'll change your mind. Fine. Fine? Yeah? But only because those burgers are going right through me. Hey, whatever it takes to get you in the house, my man. We got a lot of toilet paper inside, too, big dog. Come on, it's going to be good. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Where's the bathroom? Oh, that's uh, straight ahead to the left.
All right, I'm in. Good, because the turkey's already frosted. I can see that. Yeah. You're really going all out for this, huh? Oh, you're not just me. Everyone's bringing a dish for tonight. Of course they are. Okay, dude, you've got to be the first person who has ever complained about their getting out of prison party. That's because getting out of prison parties aren't really a thing. Oh, they not a thing? No. You don't think rappers turn up when they get out of jail? You don't think those big wig millionaires that get busted for embezzlement don't know how to throw a little soiree with hookers and strippers? I'll call you some hookers if you want. I got one on speed dial right now. Jay, I went to jail for the possession and distribution of marijuana. I really don't think that warrants a party. Yeah, it does, dude. It definitely warrants a party. Peter went to the drunk tank for 20 hours in college and we threw him a razor. You definitely deserve one, man. Fine. You made your point? We'll throw the party. Okay. I'm just really tired, man. All right, okay. Okay, look. Take a nap. Where? Anywhere, man. Pick a room. I can just pick a room. It doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. I don't think you really get the concept of this. We own the house tonight. We can do whatever we want. Fine. Then I pick the master bedroom. All right then, Mr. Grumpy. Don't call me Mr. Grumpy. Okay, Mr. Happy. Ish. Thin ice. How thin is it? Can I skate on it or will I fall oh, through? You say the dumbest <laughs> shit sometimes. Here we are. There are towels in the bathroom, and I'll be downstairs in the kitchen if you need me. Yeah, thanks. Get some rest, man.
Hey, Jay. Do you have any clothes I can borrow, man? Tyler? Kate. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Give me a hug. Uh, I should probably put on, you know, some clothes first. I think it's fine. I've seen you naked. <laughs> oh, so good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too. I missed you. Same. So, how does it feel? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's kind of weird. Um, but uh, it's, I mean, it's good. Um, I just don't think it's really sunk in yet, though, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it totally makes sense. I get it. Yeah, because you spent six years in prison, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. No, no, I, I know. Um, so, how have you been? I've been good. I, uh, I got promoted at my job. <laughs> I didn't get a raise, but... I have an office now. <laughs> <laughs> well, congrats on the office, and uh, I'm sorry to hear about the race. Yeah, thanks. It's whatever. You know, I knew I wasn't going to get one anyway. And let's see, what else? Um, I started teaching a yoga class. Yoga? Oh, you mean that uh, dumb stretching shit you made me do in college? Yes, and it's not dumb. It's actually quite popular now. So wait, people pay you to help them stretch? Well, it's more than just stretching. I mean, it can be very therapeutic. It really helped me a lot. <laughs> well, I don't know. Back in college, it was it was pretty boring. <laughs> well, maybe if I was teaching it to you, it wouldn't be as boring. Yeah. Uh, maybe. No, it would still be boring. <laughs> Finally. Where was it? In one of the bedroom closets. Like, why? Like, this Dylan Becker guy is weird. Yeah, seriously. I mean, look at this potato peeler. See, this is why men are stupid. You know, this guy owns a million dollar house and he can't spend more than a dollar on a kitchen appliance? Oh boy, here we go. Okay, okay. All I'm saying is that men are dumb. Mm hmm Sometimes. Well, <laughs> most of the time. No, 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 no. Look, it's not about men or women, all right? They're just stupid people. And then they're smart people. Oh, so you're one of the smart ones? I'm sorry, I couldn't tell. You know, it takes one to know one, I suppose. Oh, shut. I hate to break up this riveting conversation, but, um, Jay, do you have any clothes I can borrow? Yeah, I didn't know you learned the whole air dry thing in prison. I was trying to make you feel comfortable, but sure, I have, <laughs> I have a ton of extra clothes. You know I'm always fresh with it. You want the Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? We get it, you got a clothing okay, line. Can I have it. some? Yes, follow me, young player. All right, here it is. You're, uh, you're medium, right? Yeah. Okay, here. Here you go. And here's some joggers. Um, whoa, come on, brother. Come on now, you don't gotta change right in front of me. You can wait till I get out. Dude, grow the fuck up, man. Hey, uh, can I ask something? What, did you, okay, what? Kate. What's with the ring? When did that happen? Oh, yeah, uh... I don't know, maybe like a month ago. A month ago, man? How do you not know? Yeah, I mean, I, I know it happened fairly recently. I mean, they didn't make, like, a big announcement on social media or anything. My bad, I mean, I didn't know that would bother you. Well, she's my ex-girlfriend. Why wouldn't it bother me? I mean, it was six years ago. And she's been dating that douchebag Zach for two years now. I mean, it was bound to happen eventually. Well, if he's such a douchebag, why is she marrying him? Hey, I don't know. I tried telling her, but I don't know, man. We're just getting to that age where when you ask somebody to be your girlfriend or boyfriend, it's like a marriage proposal. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm still saying. Anyway, dude, look, don't get hung up on Kate, all right? I know you loved her, but you also I haven't seen another woman in six years, so you're probably just horny. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right. All right, I'm gonna head downstairs. 
And tomorrow night, we're gonna break that dry spell. Sounds good, man. Unless you've been getting laid in prison. All right, get up. Mm -hmm. Uh, I made buffalo chicken, and Michelle made beets. That sounds great together. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> How was traffic? Uh, not bad, actually. Yeah, we got here in pretty good night. Tyler! Hey, Pete. Dude! Oh, man, it's so good to see you! Yeah, it's good to see you too, man. I mean, look at you. Like, no scars, no tattoos. You made out pretty good. Oh, uh, this is my girlfriend, Michelle. Tyler, nice to meet you. Michelle. So, sorry, it's just I didn't expect you to be Tyler. I'm sorry? It's just a, you don't look like someone that just got out of prison. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Thank you, I guess. Yeah. Um, Justin, got any beer? Yes, sir. Tyler, you want one? Why not? It's been a while. Yeah, that's right. I didn't, didn't really think about that, man. You haven't had a beer in six years. Yeah. All right, that's worth choosing. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me get a picture of you guys. Okay. All right. Justin, go over there. Okay, okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Okay. Oh, Michelle, um, can you move a little? I just want to get a picture of the three of them. Um, that should be just one second. All right, let's do the first one, just smiling. All right, all right, no, 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 uh, hold your beers up and cheers. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, hey, let's do a boomerang. Oh, absolutely fucking not. How about <laughs> that? Uh, let me see what it looks like. It better be in portrait mode. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, are we gonna do the cheers or? Oh, shit, of oh, course. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. Okay, uh, what should we cheers to? Freedom. I was gonna say uh, to friends. Friends and freedom. Good enough for me. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, boys. <sighs> Just like old times. <laughs> yeah. Man, find you someone that looks at you the way Tyler looks at beer. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, hashtag relationship goals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you guys should just go catch up in the living room. Michelle and I will keep an eye on the turkey. Yeah? You, you sure we got like 20 more minutes on the turkey? So just take it out pretty soon, okay? Don't screw it up. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. We got it, okay? You guys just go have fun. We got this, right? Yeah. Kate's right. You should go catch up. Thanks, babe. Uh, Kate, will you just put my buffalo dip in the fridge so it doesn't get all room temperature -y. Yeah, I'll just heat it up before dinner. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Yeah, All right, good. let's go. Yeah. Babe. Kisses. I love you. Love you, love you too. <clears throat> what? Yeah, that's the living room. <laughs> so you want something to drink? We got wine. Uh, yeah, I can use glass. Oh, here, 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 dude. You need some chapstick? Because your lips look a little okay. dry. Oh, okay. Very kisses. Funny. Very <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on. Uh, I'll be right back. I just gotta grab something real quick. Yep. So, uh, how's it feel to be out? It's gotta be pretty good, right? Yeah, it's good. Um, it's a little weird, too. Weird? Like how? Feel weird in the sense that I'm not there anymore. I was in that cell for so long. 
I just don't think it's really sunk in yet that I'm out for, for good. Yeah, I guess that could be kind of weird. So have you thought about like what you want to do for work? I'm going to freelance for a little bit. I think it's gonna be pretty hard for me to get a traditional nine to five, you know, given the felony charge. But, um, I got a plan. Uh, Look at what I got. No, oh. no, 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 there's no way. Yes <laughs> way, yes way, man. I had to for this special occasion. Man, I haven't had this stuff since college. All oh, right. That used to get us in a lot of trouble. All <laughs> no, right. But I'm gonna have to pass, man. Will it pass? You just got out of jail, man. We should be drinking like Prohibition just got lifted. Right? <laughs> Seriously, Tyler, I've been waiting six years to party with you. Michelle is my DD for the night. I can actually drink. Yeah. I haven't drank in six years. I mean, my tolerance is non-existent. <laughs> Woo. Well, it looks like you only need one shot then, huh? <laughs> Come on. Come on, one shot. OK, only one. <laughs> one swig? You used to drink a whole bottle of that stuff before we'd go out. I don't know how you strike that. <laughs> it burns good. Oh. Whew. So, Michelle seems nice. She is. She is. <laughs> Dude, she's not that bad, come on. Well, maybe not to you, but you would know best given that you spend every waking moment with her. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I live with her. Besides, what do you know about relationships? When was the last time you were in one? I know that you're in too deep. <laughs> That's what I know. <laughs> Dude, don't laugh at him. He's not funny, okay? It's pretty fucking funny from over here. Well, Pete. Kissy, kissy. <laughs> Pete, if she was able to tame you, uh, she must be special. Exactly. She is. I think. I mean, she's cool, right? She's smart. She's hot. Manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> she's the reason I got my job. How'd you do that? Yeah, how'd you do that? Her dad's my boss. You slept with the boss's daughter. Mm -hmm. Wow. He wasn't my boss at the time. It wasn't like that. I don't understand. What does that mean? It, it's a whole thing. Okay, you, you, I think you just gonna have to tell mm -hmm. I, the story, Pete. Come on, man. I really don't want to. But you always make me tell it. <laughs> come on, man. I tell I really the story. You tell it way better than I do. I mean, you lived it. Look, you don't have to, you don't want to, all right? No, 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 he has to tell it. It is fucking hilarious. I die every time he tells it. Come on, man, please. Why don't you tell it, Can you Justin? Tell it, please? Can you, please, you tell it, please? Justin? No, because okay. I can't all right. tell all right. it. All right, all right, okay, okay, give okay. me this bottle. Go Jesus ahead. Jesus Christ. Give me a second. No, oh, get this away from me. <laughs> all right, so it all started 19 months ago. You know how I know that? Because Michelle likes to celebrate her anniversary every month. Anyways, so one day I go to the bank to get my taxes done, and the place is about to close. But the receptionist tells me one of the accountants can squeeze me in. So he walks me down the hall to Michelle's office. And there she was, wearing this tight dress and these cute glasses. I mean, totally not what you'd expect an accountant to look like, right? <laughs> So we start going through my taxes and she is writing everything off. I mean, I'm making a killing. All the while, she's asking me all these like really personal questions, flirting with me, right? Like, am I dependent or am I single? Well, don't they have to ask you if you're single when they're filing your taxes? Uh, well, yeah, technically, but it was more like it was the way she was saying it. So we get through with my taxes, and she asked if I want to go get some drinks. Now, I was going through a bit of a dry spell, and she was super hot, so of course I said yes. Next thing you know, we're at this little Mexican joint near her house, and we are throwing back margaritas and tequila shots. I mean, we were both hammered before the appetizers even got there. There's no way I'm gonna drive home. So, she invited me back to her place, which we went to, which was amazing. I mean, this girl lives in a two-bedroom penthouse, completely decked out, all by herself. Two bedrooms. Yeah, yeah tell, tell them what the second bedroom is for, dog. All right, so we have a couple more drinks, mm -hmm. start making out on the couch, and then she asked me to go to her bedroom. The thing is, we don't go to her room. 
we go to the other room, the second room. She opens the door, and there are whips, chains, bondage stuff, and like a sex swing hanging from the ceiling. I mean, she had everything, every toy you can imagine except for like a sex doll. He was the sex doll, because he needed it. <laughs> Pete, that doesn't sound so bad, man. Not at all. I mean, we start going at it, and we're at it for hours. She's tying me down, I'm tying her down, her bodies are contorting. It was exhausting. She starfished you, bro. No, she did not. Yes, she did. I, it was, I starfished her, too, if anything. She didn't. Yeah. yeah, she starfished you. It was a, it was a mutual. You can't do no double starfish. It was a mutual double as a starfish situation. What's a starfish? Oh, it's a, okay, so it's, it's basically when um, the two people that have wild sex, right? Yeah. But usually one person is more experienced than the other. Yeah in this case, and then so one is done, the other is just completely exhausted, passed out, just lying on the floor, like a starfish. You, you ever seen a girl like this before? You're like, uh, no. You ain't never seen with one eye open like this? <laughs> no. no. Okay, don't worry, it'll happen to you now. <laughs> Continue with the story, bro. All what right. happened next? So, this goes on for weeks, right? I'm going to her place every other night. And then her parents got involved, and that's when things started spiraling out of control. Parents? You are a savage. Dude, I didn't sleep with them. Oh, you I met them. Oh, you said they got, oh, okay, okay, whoops. They, they invited me to dinner, okay? We went to this, like, super nice steak restaurant. Then a few days later, my car breaks down. Her dad meets me at the dealership and drops eight Gs on a down payment on a new car for me. Eight Gs, and I barely even know the guy. So, a few months go by, and my lease runs out. I didn't have anywhere to go, and Michelle was all, you can stay with me, I have the room. And then, her dad offers me a job. What was I gonna do? Tell him no? I mean, I'm living with his daughter, and he just bought me a car. So, now, I'm trapped. Well, not trapped. I mean, I still love Michelle and everything. It's just complicated. Hmm. Well, do you like your job at least? Not really. But I am making 85K a year, so there's that. So let me just to recap the whole thing. Basically, Michelle's dad bought you for 85K a year and Michelle turned you into her sex slave. Hey, hashtag hooker. All right, dude, chill. Okay, at least I'm getting laid on the reg, unlike you. Oh, okay, wow, dude, congratulations. You get to have sex with your girlfriend. That is awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it is sick. Uh, hello? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll help you. All right, one sec, bye. All right, that's Allison, she's outside. Oh, I'll be right back. Sorry, you couldn't keep talking to us. Sorry about that, man. He always makes me tell that stupid story. Today should be about you. No, it's okay, man. I just want to hear what you guys been up to. I'm sure it's a lot more interesting than prison. Oh, hold that thought. Sorry, I have to take this. Hi, uh, this is Peter. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, of course you know it's me. You, uh, you called me. <laughs> oh, uh, I thought that was going to be due on Monday. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Michelle and I are actually out to dinner with friends. Is there any way I can um, put this off until tomorrow? Need any help? Where's Peter? Uh, he's still in the living room. I think he's talking to your dad. Oh, my God. Oh, poor Peter. Always getting whipped around. Yeah, he seems pretty tied down. Oh, so you heard about the starfish story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Tyler. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so good to see you. I'm so glad you came. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for the world. Sweet potatoes coming in hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Justin. Yeah, but it's, it's fine. Thank you for bringing it. 
Tommy, who's that? Ali, is this? My Selena. Yep. Okay, the turkey. Relax. I turned off the oven. Thank you, Black Jesus. Selena, this is who Mommy was telling you about. This is Tyler. Hi, Selena. It's really nice to meet you. He doesn't look like the people in prison on TV. Oh, <laughs> Selena, that is not a nice thing to say. <laughs> Apologize. No, no, no. It's, it's all good. I'm sorry, Tyler. I forgive you. I'm glad you came to my party. I swear they taste better than they look. I'm sure they're as sweet as you are. Ha ha. But in my defense, I was in a bit of a rush today between cooking for this, Selena's dance practice, my OBGYN appointment. It has been quite the day, and I need a drink. Bottle opener? Please. You know I never leave home without one. Okay, all we need is Zachary. What about Peter and the wench? Allison. They're already here. Oh, whatever. God. Okay, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and set the table real quick. You wanna give me a hand, bro? Yeah, sure. Tyler. He's got a little meat on him now. Looking like a snack. Yeah, he definitely got in better shape. Maybe you can date him, Mommy. Mommy might have to, sweetie. Mommy might have to. Awesome, man. Holy shit. All right. We became a mom and got hotter. Not like Hillary Dove. No, not that, man. Her daughter. What is she, like five or six? Yeah, well, she had Selena in college. What'd you expect her to never grow up? No, I know that, but it's like, it's just kind of crazy to think that one of us has a kid. Like, I mean, a baby's one thing, but Selena's, she's like a full-on person. I mean, good for Allison, but, I don't know, I guess it's just, I missed a lot, man. I'm sorry, man. For what? There's everybody coming over here, the, the share pad, it's a lot. Look, Pete only visited me once in prison. Yeah, maybe he felt guilty or something. And Allison visited me twice, and Kate stopped when she was dating Zach. But you know, it's just, they're acting like nothing ever happened. Guys! I just don't understand. What were they thinking? Well, they'll tell this big party, and he'll just forget that we neglected him for six fucking years? But it was originally supposed to just be me and Kay tonight, but yeah, she wanted to surprise you and do something special. Really? Yeah. So she should get some of the blame too, not just me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you guys, man. You, you had good intentions. You know, it's one night. I'll survive. You sure? All we can do is try. <laughs> we will. I just want to keep it between us right now. But we gotta tell someone eventually. Okay, just not tonight. How about the end of the month? Deal? Deal. Table set. Jesus, Dustin. <laughs> ah, there we go. This must be the man of the hour. Uh, I guess so. Uh, and you must be Zach. I prefer Zachary, but yes. Nice to meet you, man. Wow, it's quite a grip. You been working out at the schoolyard? Damn. Uh, no. There's no schoolyard or anything like that. Um, just push up some prison food, I guess. <laughs> well, keep it up, man. Yeah, great. No, me, I just work out three times a week, but uh, I went vegan. It's been working wonders for me. Nice. Yeah, I'll have to try that sometime. It, 
Tyler, you just say two double cheeseburgers for lunch? That'd be a, <laughs> a little tough to go vegan, one, man. <laughs> well, it's not for everyone. <laughs> two? Good lord, Ty. It was my first meal after prison. Can you cut me some slack? <laughs> okay, hey, so does anyone want refills? Another brew? Huh? Oh, Zachary, you got another batch of homemade? Oh, I sure do. This is a new lager I've been working on. Haven't quite figured out a name for it, but you want to try one? Yeah, sure. All right. Tyler, how about you, brother? Uh, I'm all right. Oh, come on, you gotta try one. Uh, no, I'm th I think I'm gonna stick to the, the light beer. Well, it's a, it's a lager. It can't get much lighter than this. Just, just have a sip. Come on, man. Just you try go. it. He won't stop bugging you until you do. Well, I will if you will. I, no, I don't really like beer. Since when? We used to drink them all the time in college. Yeah. Yeah, because that's all we could afford. I never actually liked the taste. You know, I have been trying to put her on beer for two years now, but every time I cook up a new brew, she just shoots it down, right? <laughs> Be a waste on her. So, uh, how does this new batch compare to the ones you brought to Michelle's Beach House last summer? No comparison whatsoever. The world's better. All right. Cheers. Cheers. To getting out of jail. And out of jail. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, yeah, it's pretty good, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Jailbreak. <laughs> Excuse me? It's the name of the beer, a jailbreak lager. It's a great name for it. <laughs> what? You know what? No, I don't. The name. Bro, it's just a little insensitive. Oh, come on. I, you, Tyler, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. No, it's cool, man. Don't worry about it. OK, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. No, I know you didn't. It's fine. Um, I'm going to use the bathroom. Yeah. Go apologize and actually mean it. OK. Are you, uh, you sure you guys don't need any help? We'll be kid? fine. We got it. All right. I can peel some more potatoes. I already peeled them all. I can help set the table. I already right? told you we set it. All right. Thanks. <laughs> so you really gonna marry that? I wasn't. I uh, want to apologize for what I said in the kitchen. Oh, it's, it's all good. Don't worry about it. No, I know. But uh, I feel bad. And uh, I'd hate for us to start off on the wrong foot. I want to apologize. Well, you, you already apologized, and it's OK. So. Just, just come on outside with me real quick, right? Just, it would just take a second. All right. Uh, sure. Great. Yeah. Come on. It's so beautiful out. <laughs> yeah. Is that weed? It sure is. <laughs> you know, they uh, made marijuana recreational when you were in jail, which, in essence, you criminalized it. Sucks they didn't do that before he got busted. Yeah. You want some? Uh, no. No, I'm good, thank you. Huh? All right. 
Let me know if you change your mind. So, how's it feel, man? How's what feel? Getting out of prison. You know, because Kate told me that you took the fall for all those guys. So, let me get this straight. You stockpiled 20 pounds of weed for that party? Yeah, about that, yeah. Well, the idea was take the weed, put it in some barrels, and then we were gonna just like... And hotbox the whole house. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> Sucks you guys got busted. Yeah. Yeah, it really sucked. But, you know, it uh, could happen to anyone. It was an accident. But it happened to you. Of course. Frickin' Peter, man. Making you take the fall for all this. Can't believe you're still friends with the guy. Wasn't it his idea in the first place to get all the weed for the party? Yeah, it was. If he would have done that to me, I'd never talk to that dude again. But, you know. Guess you're a better man than I am. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, what can I say? <laughs> That's the understatement of the century, my guy. <laughs> Listen, man. I just don't want things to be weird between us. Why would things be weird? I just met you. No. Because of Kate, you guys used to date. She's my girlfriend. What do you mean fiance, though? She, she told you? No, she didn't tell me anything. I saw the ring. I saw the ring. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Picked it up myself. Yeah, it's very nice. Mmm. You see, she kind of wanted to keep it on the DL, you know, this whole engagement, keep it our little secret. You know, me on the other hand, I just want to shout out this engagement on top of the mountain. Like, yo, that's my wife. I am hitting that, man. <laughs> Dude, relax, man, lighten up. Just joking. Not that awful. <sighs> Zach, I just really care about Kate. So I just want to make sure that she's happy, you know? Yeah, so do I. You might think I'm marrying her, huh? Yeah. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You know, Tyler, I know I'm probably not uh, your favorite person in the entire world, but uh, I make Kate happy. And I know that may not make you happy, but uh, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Hmm. <laughs> How about we go back inside and be social? It's a party, isn't it? Okay, you weigh like 90 pounds, how do you take up so much space? I'm standing still, you're the one who keeps moving. <laughs> oh. oh, that look good, <laughs> don't it? Yeah. Yeah, better than your turkey that you brought to school in the seventh grade that made everybody poo poo. Yeah, don't even get close to this. Mine is perfect. That's why you're on the potatoes. Stay with them. Uh-huh. <laughs> you sure you guys don't need any help? No, yeah, we're fine. Okay. Hey, Zachary, you should go say hi to Allison and Peter in the living room. Okay. All right. Hey, Tyler, you want to go? I don't want to, you know, interrupt their magic in here. Do I have to go with that guy? Because I really don't want to. Yes. It would be nice. For you? I'll try. 
I may need a few more of these first, though. Jailbreak. How <laughs> cool that was funny. Jailbreak. Never have I ever had a threesome. <laughs> Better not have. Foursome. But. <laughs> Who's counting? Yeah, not you. Jeez, oh. Allison. And she wonders why she's still single. Damn. Oh. oh, whatever. None of you all know what it's like trying to date when you're a single mom. I love my Selena to death. But when guys hear you're a mom, they just stop talking to me. Like, yeah, I'm a mom, but I'm hotter now than I was in college. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. This mama needs some loving. Ooh, <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> Tyler, you haven't really seen me since college. Don't you think I got hotter? Excuse me, do I, th do I think you got hotter? Like, would you bang me? Allison, we're, we're friends. Come on, would you bang me? Allie. Okay, I guess I will. Yeah! <laughs> there we go! No! God, it is like pulling teeth with you guys. <laughs> I mean, uh, for what it's worth, Allison, I'd, I'd bang you. I mean, if I was single. Not now, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Zachary. Yeah. Oh, whatever. It's not like you weren't hoeing around in college. <laughs> um. Excuse me, would you like to elaborate on that, Peter? Yeah, Peter, would you? Uh, you know, I would, but tonight is not about me. Tyler, why don't you tell us about prison, man? Like, like, what was the, the um, craziest thing that happened to you? Yeah, 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 was there like, uh, you know, some riots, some prison riots and stuff? No, no, I was in a minimum security prison, so. Yeah, but it had to be cooler than anything we were doing out here. I mean, did you ever like get in a lunchroom brawl or like learn how to make a shiv or something? Pete, it wasn't cool. It was prison. I did the same thing every day for six years. It sucked. And if it's all right, I'd just, I'd rather not talk about it right now. Of course it is. Yeah. Sorry, man. No, it's all right. It's just, uh, She's a little fresh, I guess. So, Tyler, have you thought about what you might want to do for work now? Um, I think I'm gonna start just doing some freelance work. Um, I think it's gonna be a little hard for a company to hire me with a felony charge and also. Tyler, what was your major? Graphic design. Uh, well, I can ask my dad if he has any need for designer his company. I know you're a nice guy. Peter told me everything that happened. Did you know? Yeah, Michelle, I, uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. I read the HR manual, and the guy's company doesn't hire anyone with a felony charge. Uh, you read the HR manual, Peter? Yeah, I did. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I have an HR manual to read, you know. I have a job. Peter. Oh, well, at least I didn't have to beg my girlfriend for a job. <laughs> it's not begging, it's called networking, you dick. Oh, 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 really? Well, I didn't know that sleeping with your boss's daughter is called networking. Well, in that case, I guess me and Kate and her father have to have a big conversation. Right. You know what? You've been such a dick, like, all night to, like, everybody. You Why don't want this, bro. Here? What, dude? What? You do not want this, dude. I've had two classes of judo yeah. this month. You're taking judo classes two That's times a month, bro. He started. It doesn't matter. And I want to finish the two, bro. What's up? Dinner's ready. A uh, dinner bell? Really, Kate? <laughs> yeah. I saw it online, and it was only seven bucks, so I had to. <laughs> All right, is everybody ready? Yeah, I'm uh, starving, actually. Oh, Allison, is Selena gonna sit with us at the table or hang out in here? Oops, no, she'll be fine with our shows. I'll fix her up a plate. Okay, great. All right, I hope everybody's hungry because we got a lot of food. <laughs>
one beautiful bird coming in. Uh, Peter, can you move the, the beats to make room? All right, does anyone need anything else? Another drink or? Okay then. Actually, Jake, um, got Dr. Sleep? Yeah, 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 sure. Just real quick. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Zachary, man. Yeah, what about him? He sucks, dude. <laughs> man, you should have heard the shit he was saying to me outside. Yeah, no, no, he sucks, man. But do you think he might be overreacting a bit? You have been drinking. No, I have, but I'm not overreacting. Man, we can't let Kate marry that man. Look, I know you still have feelings for her. No, it's not but... even like that, man. Okay, maybe it is a little bit, but we can't let her go through with it. I mean, I have to say something. I've tried, man. I've talked to her and him when they first started dating, even with, with Peter and Michelle. Don't even get me started with Peter, man. He's, he's such a... What happened with those two? I mean... People just grow up in a way, and they wanted to settle down. It's just what people started doing. Why didn't you? I like hoeing around. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Hey, tomorrow night, me and you, we're going to go out and we're going to find some girls that haven't settled down, if you know what I'm saying. You down for that? Yeah. All right, good. Now let's go eat some turkey, rip some shots, have some fun, all right? Fuck what they all think down there. You're right. All right. Let's do a tough one. All right, man. For the love of God, Allison, just take the damn photo. Shut up! I'm trying. Smile. Smile. Thank you. Looks great. Well, it's about time. We've been waiting. Uh, okay, yeah, how about maybe thank you well, for making the turkey, Justin? Thanks, Justin. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Justin. See, they are <laughs> grateful. Now let's eat. <laughs> hey, Justin, I gotta say, you know, this whole cooking the turkey, organizing this whole dinner, your clothing line, you are quite the Renaissance man, my friend. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, please don't feed his ego. Seriously, I don't think he can get any cockier. Whoa, 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 cocky. No, I'm not cocky, man. I am fucking vindicated, all right? You know how hard it was to put this whole thing together? Yeah, well, I think it's great, Jay. You should be really proud. Thank you, man. I agree. It's really impressive, Justin. Mm -hmm. Plus, your leggings make my ass look good, so <laughs> keep making clothes. I am grateful to help you on that, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you've had as many failed businesses as Justin, it's only a matter of time before one of them takes off. Right, Jay? <laughs> You're damn right. Self-made. I mean, I was over that whole corporate America shit. I mean, my last job, ass. <laughs> I was making 35K to manage a client that was grossing our company over $3 million a year. Like. How does that even make any sense? Why even try? Because if you don't, you'll get fired. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> My nine to five boss has me doing like three people's jobs. If he were to fire me, he would be so fucked. <laughs> he tried to reprimand me for my lack of enthusiasm lately. <laughs> it's like, yo bitch, why don't I reprimand you for my lack of salary? <laughs> Oh, working sucks, man. Mm. I mean, corporate America broke my spirit. It's like trading your soul for a 401k and a salary with good health benefits. <laughs> oh, I miss college. No responsibilities, just fun. 
It was so great. <laughs> when I was in college, I couldn't wait to graduate. Yeah, that was dumb. Right? <laughs> now it's just go to work, make money, pay your bills, and just keep repeating that until you die. Yeah, growing up really sucks. Sure does. You know, if you hate your job so much, why don't you just quit? Get a new one. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I should just quit my job. Me and Selena can become actors to pay the bills. Oh, I could be your manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'll just, uh, I'll call your dad and be like, hey, Mr. Nolan, uh, can you give me a raise and also lessen my workload? <laughs> that would go over well. I think you guys just need to find out what you want to do in life. I think that's what all you guys' problem is. Yeah, but I wish it was that easy. It's, I just don't know what I want. Well, I mean, I don't know. It might be a little corny, but maybe you can just start off by making a list, you know, everything that you like, and then, you know, pick out the ones that you can make money off of. Yeah, I guess. You should. I mean, it's what I did. And uh, I got a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna do now that I'm out, so. Yeah, but it's tough to find time to even do that with work, Selena, friends. Yeah, and Tyler, you also had a lot more free time than all of us to think about your goals. Are you serious right now? I was just, just joking. Yeah, yeah. Screw your jokes. Ty. You've been addicted. No. Ty. No. You've been addicted to me all night. Tyler. Come on, dude. He didn't mean it. I was just joking. Yeah, just let it go, Ty. Wow. Uh, you know what? Um, you're right. It was a joke. All night, every single one of you have been complaining. You think work sucks? Try prison. I sacrificed 72 months of my life. I never even have the opportunity to make the kind of life that you guys have been bitching about. Look, dude, nobody asked you to play the martyr. Hey, Peter, Peter. You hear that? I don't have to play the martyr. Peter, how come when the cops showed up, you were nowhere to be found? Hmm? It was your idea to hotbox the whole house for the party. It was also you who made sure the cops showed up. It's right, Jay? Right? Yeah, it's I. Yeah. Somebody tricked the alarm. It was an accident. Okay, I said I was sorry. Yeah, if you were sorry, you would have shared the blame with me. All of you would have. Whoa, hold on. You said that you would take the rap so that none of us would have a felony charge that would ruin our lives. It really doesn't even matter anyway, because you all ruin your lives all by yourselves. All you guys, all three of you, hate your jobs. Hate your lives. You just complain, complain, and complain. At least you had a chance to make something of your lives. You don't have to spend half a decade locked in a fucking box! But what did you do with it, though? <laughs> All right, Tyler, thank you for that. Fuck the drink. You know, they may hate their jobs, but at least they have one, bud. Tyler! You should have heard the shit he was saying outside. <laughs> Come on, we were just messing around. <clears throat> like, how unappreciative and ungrateful can you be? Six years for you guys. 
What a fucking waste. Michelle and I should uh, hit the road. Great. You build like you always do. Justin, do you have a trash can? I think I'm gonna bomb. Yeah. Right, yeah. You know no one likes you, right? Not apologizing, Jay. It's Kate. We need to talk. I'm sorry. Gee, thanks. No, seriously. I mean, it really should have just been me, you, and Justin tonight. Clearly, we did not think this through. Yeah, clearly. Look, I do appreciate the effort. No, I know you guys are just Try to do something nice for me. Do we get an A for effort at least? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get an A for effort. Look, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. Are you just gonna stand there? Or do you wanna sit down? <laughs> yeah, I'll sit. <laughs> um. Ty, just ask me the question. What could you possibly see in Zachary? What? I mean, Kate, you can't marry that man. Um, it's not really your decision to make, Ty. I mean, I, I, I love him. He's such a pompous asshole. Uh, you just met him. How would you even know? <laughs> the fact that you just said, how would you know, just proves my point. Don't put words in my mouth, Ty. Okay, why then? Why what? Why do you love him? What do you mean, why? When you love someone, you love someone. There doesn't need to be a reason. <laughs> what do you mean there doesn't have to be a reason? I don't know. It's just love. Kate, I get that you didn't want to wait for me to get out of prison, but him? I mean, you can do a lot better than that. 
Oh, because you're the best judge of character. I'm sorry. I did so much for you guys. No one forced you to take the fall, Ty. No one forced me. They begged me. Begged me to figure out a situation so you guys wouldn't get convicted. Okay, you know what I did it was the only way. Allison, Selena, Pete, and Jay. And you. You guys could show up here and you act like nothing ever happened. I've never heard this much complaining for in my entire life. You know, it might seem like a lot compared to you. I'm not trying to belittle what you did. But, God, growing up and, and getting out of college it just wasn't what we all thought it would be. How so? Well, when you get to college, you get to pick your major with the expectations that you'll get a job doing what you want to do with your major. I, and sometimes it's hard to find a job in that field. I get that. No, it's not hard. It's impossible. So what happens is someone like me, who wants to be a photographer, ends up having to get a job in sales because there are no photography jobs available. So a super creative person who, who shouldn't be sitting at a desk all day ends up having to sit at a desk all day. And then on top of that, this job that you're forced to take doesn't even pay that well. So you're underpaid, overworked, and you're not doing what makes you happy. It's awful. make matters even worse, I still have $40,000 in student loans to pay off. It's not like I can just quit my job. Some things in life don't give you any choices, Ty. You just have to make them work. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. Well, if it makes you feel any better, currently I'm $60,000 in debt. I'm homeless. I'm unemployed. And I've got a felony charge on my permanent record. So I'd say, sitting next to me, you're looking pretty good. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the thing I miss the most about you. It's your optimism. My optimism? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Before prison, no matter what the situation, you always looked at the glass half full. I don't know how you did it. I mean, it's just perspective. You may hate your job, 
But at least you got one. You got food and a roof over your head. A lot of folks don't even have that. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. And if you want to be a photographer, just go out and make it happen. Start taking pictures on the weekends or in your spare time. Because if you love something, you make time for it. I would, but I mean, I don't even have a camera because I can't afford one. Okay, you're already 40 grand in debt. <laughs> What's another two for a really great camera? You'll pay it off eventually. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, I'll see what I can do. Kate, just go get the camera. <laughs> Dreams are worth taking a risk on. All right. <laughs> okay, all right, I will. So, now can I ask you a question? Sure. Did you ever think about what would have happened between us if you didn't go to prison? Of course I did. Every day. Did you? Yeah, it's crossed my mind. No. Yeah. I'm always gonna love you, Tyler. You still love me? In a way. Yes. I mean, what we had, it was so special. I'm never gonna forget that. I still love you. You do know that, right? Yes, you can. You can break up with him right now. No, it's not that simple. You're only engaged. <laughs> Do I break? You what? I'm pregnant. No, I, I, I saw you drinking tonight. You, well, you can't be pregnant. No, it was just sparkling cider. So that's it. You're just gonna be with him forever. You know, you could at least pretend to be a little happy for me. Why should I be happy for you? You're not even happy. You deserve so much better.
Kate's not feeling too well, so I think we're gonna get out of here. All right? Yeah, you, you sure you can take one of the empty rooms? We've got plenty of room. Yeah, I know. I just really want to sleep in my own bed tonight. Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on her. It'll be fine. Text me when you get home safely. I oh, will. Everyone cleared up. Yeah, uh, except for Allison. She's passed out on the couch. I'll go check up on her. No, no, she's she's good. Selena's watching her. Right. Yeah. You did some good work on that bottle, buddy. Yeah, it was either get drunk or beat the shit out of Zachary. <laughs> Figured I'd get drunk, take the high road. Should have beat the shit out of Zachary. Right? <laughs> Next time. <laughs> yeah. Good catch. Thanks. Hey, man, I'm... I'm sorry about... This whole thing, I tonight really didn't really go as planned. It's not your fault. Well, I mean, it is a bit, but not completely. <laughs> I kind of freaked out on Kate tonight. Yeah, I figured. She seemed pretty upset when she left. You don't even know the half of it, man. Well, what happened? Well, first of all, she's pregnant. Well, well, no. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sh shit. Maybe that's why she got engaged. I just can't believe it, man. 
And how long has he been unemployed for? Uh, I think like maybe six, six months without a nine to five, but he says he's freelancing now, so, but he has to be making no money because Kate, that's all she complains about is not having any. It's like they all just gave up on their dreams, man. Shit. You never told me. How come you never settled down? Yeah, I did. I like going around. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, man. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I guess I... I guess I didn't want to stop trying new things, mm. you know? I mean, I'm 28. You're 28. This isn't like the end all be all, you know? I'm just now hitting my stride. I got my business going and... You know what the problem is? What? The problem is people think the party's over after college. Mm. Yeah, they do, they think, oh, that's it, just... Stop trying, stop doing new things, stop taking risks, but it's not, man. Mm. It's not, like, since I graduated from college, I got fired from two jobs, walked out of one, failed for a pyramid scheme, <laughs> had three failed business endeavors, three. But I learned so much from all those failures, it made me a better, stronger person, man. Yeah. And people, people used to dog me, bro. They used to be like, oh, he can't keep a job. Oh, 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 oh. He, he, he's a loser. He drinks too much. <laughs> he's a failure. But, <clears throat> you know, like, everybody used to say that shit. Everybody wrote me off saying that I, just because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. Yeah, but at least you're doing something that you care about. Right? You know what I mean? And those same people that called me out for my failures are the same ones who are too afraid to fail that they never even start. Yeah. Like, who are you to judge? Like, you're not happy with your life. You're not. No. You're not. You just post your highlights on social media so people think that you're happy. But you hate your life. You hate it. You go to the same job that you hate every day, mm. every week, doing the same shit over and over and over again, not changing nothing and worrying about how and why my life isn't different. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, us as millennials, yeah, we might have the car stacked against us, but at least, like, try something fucking new. Do something different. Take a risk. God damn. Well, that's why I couldn't take it anymore in there, man. Like, if you're not happy with your life, like, do something about it. Right. I mean, you've got a choice. I, it's not like... Well, it's not like you're in prison. <laughs> exactly. It's not <laughs> like you're in prison, man. It's like... You can make anything happen in your life if you want to, man. It's not like any of them are in poverty mm -hmm. or like Africa yeah. where you can get eaten by a lion in the savannah. Eaten by a lion? Yeah, I don't know, man, I'm drunk, all right? You know what <laughs> I mean, dude? You know what I mean? Basically, life, life can be so much worse. Mm. Yeah. You know? You know, for what it's worth, I don't think any of them could have lasted six days, let alone six years in prison. I have so much respect for you, man. I really appreciate that. What are you doing? I'm trying to cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To what? To you. To you being awesome. Do you like Batman? What do you yeah, mean? You, so you know how Batman, uh, he, he saves Gotham City every night? No, you know? I know what Batman does, yeah. Okay, so 
Even though he saves the city every night, people still find a reason to complain. They need him, but they take him for granted. Thank you, man. You're the best. Do you the best? We the best. Yeah. And since we both are the best, mm -hmm. we should line up two shots of the best. And okay. it's right over there. Okay. Hey, Jay. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> you know, I'm good. you got to walk that off, brother. You know? <laughs> now, let me line up these shots. You know what? Hey, mm -hmm. hey, let's, uh, why don't we just call it? Great idea. I'll call the stripper. No, no, no. Huh? <laughs> no. Let's, let's go to bed, man. Go to bed. Mm -hmm. You all right? I just need to, I just need to go to the bathroom real quick. I'm mm -hmm. gonna puke and we can ride this shit back up. We are gonna be good. You know what, buddy? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have so many other nights to do that. I think right now we should just go to bed. Can I at least take some turkey with me today? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely yeah. you can. Okay. Some good stuff right here. It's some good stuff. I'm gonna bring it to you though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring it to you. Dark meat only. Absolutely. Yeah. I know it's your favorite. Don't judge me. It's not because I'm black. <laughs> It's not that reason. I, I never just, said that. I just like it. I like it. Yo, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Please show me. Mmm. Dude, I made such a great turkey tonight, man. Michelle would have been shook if she would have tried some of it. She would have pulled out the whips and chains for me, and I would have let her keep going. Yeah, Don't man, tell you did a good job. Um, I did a great job. Great. So you good? You don't need anything else? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. You going to bed? Nah. I'm going to stay up for a little bit. Mm. You know, I had that three-hour nap, and... Well, someone's gotta watch Selena. Oh, dude, one of the worst babysitters ever. Yeah, speak for yourself. Uh, uh, come on, let's go. No, no, don't worry about it, I got it. Yeah? I'll see you in the morning. All right, man. Mm. Oh, shit, my bad, man, hold up. I got something for you, in the closet. Yeah? Yeah, present. Really? Yeah. Oh, thanks, man, you didn't have to do that. No, yeah, man, just sit here. Present for the six birthdays I missed. <laughs> okay. It's uh on the floor to the right. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Can I open it now or? Yeah, this ain't Christmas Eve. Open that shit. This must have cost you a fortune, man. I can't accept this. Yeah, you can, man. You deserve it. And it's brand new. Don't worry, I ain't steal it or nothing like that. I just had to unwrap it so I could put all the, the photo editing and software shit on there. Oh, this is awesome, man. Thank you so much. Enjoy it, dude. But you gotta promise me one thing. Yeah, what? When we're in college, I remember you saying that you wanted to open your own design company. Now, I don't know what your dream is now, but whatever your dream is, don't stop until you get it, man. You stronger than me, Tyler. You one of the baddest white boys I know. All right, so if I can do it, you can too. Yeah, I promise, man. All right. I'll take your ass down there and watch Selena. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. I will. Mm-hmm. Hey, come here. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Of course. All right, good night, Justin. Yeah, good night, man. Oh. I'm glad you're back. Me too.
first feature on Crafty, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, the goal of Crafty ultimately is to eventually make and, and uh, you know, help distribute feature length films. So yeah. it's cool to get started with that this early in the process. Yeah, yeah. Uh, congrats, man. Yeah, thank um, you, thank you. So this was Steven's very first feature. Uh, actually, your very first film, first film that you ever made. Uh, you you skipped short films like a crazy person and went just straight into feature length filmmaking. Yes, uh, which I commend you for, and I also think you're crazy for. Yeah, that's uh, what I heard yeah. by a lot of people before <laughs> this happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so talk about like, you know, the whole process of sort of writing the script, getting this whole thing started, because you you bootstrap this thing yourself, and yeah, that's kind yeah. of what I want you know people to to learn and know about is. Um, this was a not only independently produced, but also independently financed, also written by you. Yeah. You, you, you're just kind of building this team and, and getting into it. So yeah. what was the process like? So the, the process was a, a kind of a, a lot of years in the making in terms of trying to, you know, I moved to LA in 2016 and after a year and a half there, I started working um, at a film studio and really, you know, being there and just being in LA and trying to send stuff around, I, I kind of realized really quickly that I was gonna have to make my own feature yeah. if I wanted to, maybe I should have, could have started with a short, but <laughs> I guess it worked out. But I was like, if I'm gonna make a project, I'm going to have to do it myself. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I'll go out there. I had some scripts written and, you know, I was like, you know, with, with, I, was, I was ready to just like put itself out there. But I then was like, all right, I'm gonna write this script. And I had an idea for- Did you have any like, formal screenwriting training like had you read a book on screenwriting or like no. how did you even know how to like <laughs> format a script at this point uh i i was writing for about four or five years before that but no schooling for it so i went to college for like communications but it was more so like in a newsroom working in that environment mm -hmm. so i wasn't i didn't really do that many electives and like do your electives do extracurriculars <laughs> i should have done way more of that but it wasn't very like narrative focused it was all like production broadcast so after college, I just started writing and I really just got into it. I, I did it one night and then I just kept doing it. But did you like read a script or how did you learn the actual formatting of the screenplay? Um, Were you just that, told by I just, I just started like Google, like Googling how to write a yeah. uh, screenplay yeah. and I got, and I was like, oh, Final Draft's a really good product for that. And I definitely came um, a long way of like, in terms of like adding like elements to the script of like, different char character actions and things like that. But I've always, well, because of my schooling, I've always, like, when I see a production, I look at it from the lens of, like, a camera. Right. So it's not like I don't have experience holding a camera. I'm just not, like, a cinematographer. But sure, I, sure, sure. <laughs> I film a lot of, like, birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, and things like that in the day. So I do understand, like, how, like, what I'm seeing, like, as I'm writing it. So I think that really helped. Just, like, my experience just making even just, like, little videos and things like that to, like, visualize the screenplay and how it would how it would play out because let's hold there really quick i just want to make sure this framing is looking good it is okay, okay. good okay good, good, good. all right yeah um uh, play out yeah yeah so to how, how it would play out so that was um really i think really helpful that maybe at the time i i wasn't really thinking about that but it was just like it was very easy for me to like visualize the scene in my head and with taking fall it's very dialogue driven, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. character driven so in terms of like blocking and things like that very very simple movements nothing like action so it wasn't really that much elements that i really had to focus on there so i think that really helped me as well um, so how did you like put the team together find your director find your actors you know i think like I, one, of, one of the one of the impressive things about this as a first film and as a first feature is like you know, you got Monroe Chambers. Yeah. You got you got like some really good actors. Um, yeah. To be in this film and and uh, you know talk about like that. Okay, you've got the script, but how am I gonna actually make this thing? Yeah. Um. So again, started writing in 2018, and I wrote it over about the first four or five months of, the, of that year. And my my really good friend Tom, who I moved out to LA with, uh, he was working at an ad agency, and he knew after I wrote the script. I was basically like trying to email production companies and be like, I have this script, I'm going to finance this, I do not care. I'm like, <laughs> I have a budget in mind, but I, I'm doing this. And it was the perfect sense of like, I understood like, which I'll get into further, like film distribution, because working in that. And so I, I wasn't scared of like putting it out. I was, and I didn't know enough 
about production to be terrified by that aspect of it, how difficult a film, but sure. Uh, but I did know I needed help. Yeah. There was no way I was gonna do this by myself. So yeah. um, he met Josh Marvel, who directed the film and really, you know, shared the whole production, really brought everyone together, put the team together. They filmed a like commercial for Tom's ad agency. He's like, hey, these guys make really great short films. We should talk to them. So. We set up a meeting and I just went to the coffee shop and it was almost like a Tommy LaSalle sort of like thing where I think they initially thought that I was gonna like ask them to like film a commercial or something like that and I was like no I had like my script like literally printed out <laughs> and I was like this is and I told them about the movie I was like I want to make this movie can you let me know? I watched some of your shorts can you let me know like what the budget would be for this and how we want to do it and they were like it was probably the, one of the weirdest interactions like that, cause it's not how it works though. No one would expect that. Right. And they were really stoked on the script and they were like, yeah, I want, we want to do this. And I was like, great. I was like, perfect. All right. We'll, we'll. So that, that's really when pre-production starts. So that was like in August of 2018. So we filmed in January, 2019 and we did the casting, we did the casting calls and Josh is a, is a working actor. And so he's had a ton of experience with auditions, working through SAG. So he was really able to coordinate all of that, um, you know, the auditions that we had and so everyone auditioned for their role except for Monroe. Okay. So we put up like a, a casting thing and- The role and audition. Yeah, role, role and audition. Yeah. So he uh, he actually self-submitted to that, like not through his agent. So he put out like a casting call for it and it got a ton of like hits and like traction. So we had to do like a bunch of video submissions first and we pretty much had to call it down to like like 10 for like each role. So we all went through, um, actually me and Tom, did our watching session and Chris, uh, the DP and up producer on the film and Josh, they, they watched it and we kind of like, you know, combined and then we did in-person auditions and then we, everyone that auditioned, um, you know, we, we went through it and stuff like that. So it was, it was really great to like see those characters and visualize it. I've never done that before. Yeah. And he, then he was like, we need the lead. And he was raffling off names of like people that he could kind of like contact through his network. And the first name he said was Monroe Chambers. And I was, kind of stopped listening to that one because I was I was very familiar with his work and I was like yes I was like he is the perfect person to play Tyler like they had the look the the demeanor the attitude the way that he can really you know his his range of emotions is like so and so impressive and I was just like he's he's perfect for it so he he was very he he loved the script his dad actually really loved the script um, when Rose's dad and that was a really I think driving force for for him to kind of like join the project so it was really cool to to get that because to get you know actors of, of that caliber in your first feature is awesome and really you know again with everything josh did with production was incredible but you know him you know through his network was really able to kind of get those connections and, and help us you know get that so it was, it was awesome nice yeah um so okay so you got your cast yeah now you've actually got to like be on set for multiple days in a row yeah uh film this thing. Yep. I know you guys rented an Airbnb, obviously where you shot the, yeah, shot the, the whole project. Yeah. And you stayed there, right? Yeah, I did stay there. So the, we shot the film. It was 98 pages in eight days. So. <laughs> Dude, you only shot in eight days? Yeah. But I was just interviewing Maverick who did uh, My Dinner with Werner and his short was shot in 10 days. That, yeah. <laughs> so it's like he had more days for his short than you did for your feature. Well, they budget, were just- budget pre- contingent. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That, we were just um, really, you know, just cranking scenes. I think, you know, Josh and his crew, they, obviously this was not their first rodeo altogether and they did such a great job, you know, wrangling everyone in and all the actors came in super prepared. Everyone really kind of brought in, bought into um, the script and the lines. And so everyone was really prepared. So we were just really churning through scenes, getting getting our, our coverages and whatnot. So it was, and this was all like, stuff that I've never really seen. So yeah, just yeah, like yeah, seeing yeah. that like firsthand and like the first day I was like, wow, I was like, this is really hard. I was <laughs> like, I don't think, I, I was like, nothing could have prepared me for like what this was. And, but I, again, I was so glad that I was like, there's no way I'm like doing this, like coordinating this production myself. Like I need people that can 100% do this. And like everyone, everyone on the set was incredible. I think nice. the cast and crew was probably, I think there was 25 of us maybe. So, um, yeah, and I was, you know, you can look at the credits, I think I'm like the script supervisor, art director, but like I was doing all those like little nuanced things, but I mean, Josh and Chris were really just, and you know, our, our AD Chloe, she was incredible. Um, just really 
you know, keeping everything tight and keeping us on time for things like that. Um, the the second day of the script, and also you, you don't shoot movies in order. No. Um, sometimes I mean, sometimes if you, have, you do. You know, like J.J. Abrams gets the budget to shoot his movies in yeah, order. Yes, he, he yeah. does. Um, so you know, the turkey comes in at, at page sixty in the script, but the first time we needed a turkey was day two. Yeah. So I had to call my mom, and be like, I never made a turkey before, and I was <laughs> like, we got to make this turkey because we're gonna film this scene in six hours. So. I did that as the first turkey I ever made. It's actually pretty good. Now I make turkeys all the time. I skip them. But nice. yeah, that was um, that was a, a fun like. Oh crap! I gotta do this today. So, um, but yeah, eight days, um, ninety eight pages, and yeah, so twelve hour days burning through that. But we, we got we got everything done. It was yeah, and yeah. it came out it came out great. So yeah, nice. So, what other ways did you have to get crafty in order to make the movie? <laughs> To, uh, for um, oh my gosh, I mean, really, like the well, filming in Los Angeles is horrible. I know you've experienced that, so we had to. Go Actually, yeah, I, I guess I filmed one thing, not in Los Angeles. I mean, it was in like Orange County. In Orange County, yeah. Uh, my, I only shot one short in okay. the time that I lived there. Yeah, uh, I left. To, I I went to Nebraska to do a feature while I lived. In Los yeah, Angeles. yeah. So it's like there's. I'm not. No, I'm not doing it. Well, I will never film a movie in LA. <laughs> um, but if like we had to go get the film permits, I had yeah. to go door to door in the neighborhood, even though we were just staying in the house. And mm -hmm. obviously, it's a dinner party. It's not like a big, you know, college fraternity <laughs> ranger movie. So we weren't very loud. But I had to like pick it and go to like every single not pick it, but I had to go to like knock on every door and get signatures. Um, so that was like just doing all those little things and like really like me josh and chris were the only producers on things so like coordinating everything like they were doing they did a ton of the contracts like all the paperwork chris did like all the accounting so like really like the three of us just kind of all sort of like did it all hands and like and from like every little every little aspect of of the movie so that was really what we had <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love David, your cat. Sorry, uh, she's like distracting me. She's David, great. stop it. <laughs> you know, she'll find trouble. That's what yeah, she does. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. that was that was really cool. And then, of course, like the the distribution aspect of the film and all of that. So that's really where you know, taking my experience of working at a film studio and releasing independent films. That's where where I felt the most comfortable sure. with. So yeah, yeah. you know, as we were doing the festival run, kind of gearing up for that during COVID for the release. So like I, you know, ran. I did all like the paid ads for the film. I hired the publicist. I you know worked with two two different distributors of like a non exclusive agreement, so I can continue to to shop the film and, and put it out there further because I knew being a first time filmmaker that the distribution deals I was gonna get were probably not gonna be that that great. Mm -hmm. And no one, I have no no body of work, there are no shorts. There's no, not, like no one, and we have great actors in it. So I was like this, I wanna generate some buzz with this and, and really be able to kind of like give it the best opportunity it can. And I felt so comfortable with that aspect. And that's, I would not have made that film if I did not work at a film studio and like understood on a marketing part. Cause I was like, how am I gonna get this out there? I wouldn't have done it because I didn't see like the the end like the end game to like release it right. um, and everything's like a journey process but I did see like how I could get get it out there into the world so mm -hmm. I was like I just need to make a quality thing so it was really cool because it took like my passion and love for filmmaking but then like my whole career and everything that I've learned I had to like put those two skills to like the absolute like best that I could so that's what was really um really rewarding with the experience was like doing all that to just to get something out there and like you know seeing it like on on amazon and like itunes and tubi and all that like the first time like the day came out you know with amazon like you can't do any pre-order so i'm like it's like 8 59 p.m in la and it's like oh my, oh my god i hope it shows up there right it's right, supposed right. to show up a minute and it did and yes. you're just like whoo and it's like you know you're running all the ads for it leading up to it but it was just really cool to like just to see that process all the way through and something that I've done for so many filmmakers and that feeling mm -hmm. was was crazy and like to have that that sort of moment is really like what I want to bring to craft because like my background and skill set is so you know unique and it's like it's I mean it's very different from yours in terms of like you have a, a vast experience working on set and you know we both love film but it's like I think I have this 
knowledge and expertise that not everyone gets. I think I just went a different route right. where I was like, I'm good at this marketing stuff, and I think I think if I go this way, it's gonna help me kind of and help others like get to like that phase. And I just that was like this a strength that I had, and I just kind of leaned into that more of that mindset and, and brought this to the film. So that's really cool. And that's really what I'm like excited for with Crafty as we're doing here is like, I have so much experience doing that. And I wanna like recreate that moment for other people and, and elevate work and, and have that out there. Cause it's, I, I just, I've seen a lot of, I've distributed about 12 to 13 like movies before that at the film studio. So I felt, I've always felt like very comfortable with that. And that's, that's really something I hope I can continue to deliver for others. Yeah, awesome. So if you could, um, if you could have a time machine and go back and, uh, you know, you're, you're get you're setting out to make Taking the Fall again, yeah, yeah. and you know what you know now, what's one thing that you might do differently? Um, I would, you know, I probably would outline some of the, of the scenes differently. I love the, the plot of the film and I love everything, but I, I think that, um, maybe getting into a little more backstory, but again, it's like the, the budget, you know, with the limitations of it all being, you know, one location, um, that, that certainly played a, a factor in the script, but it's, I think I would just kind of provide a little more backstory, maybe add a few more scenes. I think some of the scenes in the film are very long. It almost feels more like a play yeah, yeah, than sure. a film. And, but I will say that like the scenes, that are probably aren't like typical for movies in terms of like runtime, you know, where where, Chris, um, where um, Peter is telling the story of, you know, breaking up this whole girlfriend story. Like people love that scene, but from a script standpoint, you're this is no no no. This is ten <laughs> this is ten pages. Like yeah. you cannot have this. But yeah. you know, when you're if you're watching it with people on this and hearing them laugh, I think, you know, some of the things like. I would probably change and maybe I could have did something like different now knowing what I know now at the time but like I don't I think some of the really cool moments is like because of those long scenes that are like so like it's kind of like that build up and then you have the dinner scene the the break up scene then you have the you know um you know just you know Justin and Tyler scene at the at the end where they're you know having that heart to heart these really long scenes but for the film it was like really tied everything together and those are like the best part so it's kind of like give and take, yeah, right? it's, yeah it's give and take and sort of like trust trust yourself and i don't think i would write scenes like that anymore but you know part of it's like well, maybe you know there is like projects where i do sprinkle a scene like that in there because i i was like it i felt like that was something that was really important for the film and like i mean i would definitely change some things but it's 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 just it's really cool to like see like your progression i think when when people go back and look at stuff it's like you want to be like oh, i gotta do this and do that and that and i think that that's great and there's definitely things like i said that it would would change but i think you know knowing what you knew at the time it's like you know you're doing your absolute oh best. for sure for sure yeah, yeah. well and that's what like, you know yeah. when i'm asking anybody that question it's not like a like oh, saying yeah, you did anything sure. wrong it's more of like a you know, obviously, every, all of my projects, you know, you look back and you go, oh, fuck, yeah, I looked yeah. at this or whatever. Yeah. And, like, even taking the writing out of it, like, is there anything production-wise or anything that you've learned since that you might, like, you know, even giving yourselves nine days instead yeah, of Yeah, days yeah, nine or... days, yeah. We have more money. Um, I, I think, you know, I, I think it probably more, definitely more, everything came in, like, super prepared, but probably more time for you know rehearsals if that would be possible given the budget although like justin i mean <laughs> justin tyler monroe and roland they and josh did like a lot of um like read throughs and stuff because josh being a you know a working actor as well i think was like really pivotal for you know to to really help you know monroe and and roland like continue to like get get into these characters further and kind of like speak speak to them from the, from that sort of lens and like mm -hmm. what he's feeling in the scene i think josh did a really good job of like getting like understanding the emotions of the script because it's it's very like you know very up and down and like characters all you know, doing different things and it's highs lows and you know funny not funny serious and um yeah, yeah. so I, I think like more rehearsals probably would have been like pretty cool to see and and continuing like that collaboration because a lot of the actors 
um, you know, some things were, a few things were improvised, but it was mostly like, hey, this is like the general like point of this scene. So like, sure. if you want to change some lines around, do that. And I think a lot of actors, um, you know, uh, on the on the film, they they certainly you know added some own elements to it, um, and they sort of you know also stuff the script as well, which is cool. Amazing. Yeah. Um, great. What's uh, what's next? What's next? I mean, obviously, Crafty's keeping us very busy, but you know, I've. Since that, I've written a pro, I've written four features, so I'm trying to like find, you know, find, you know, funding and financing for those. Um, I've been working on and similar like, sort of lo lower budget things, and then continuing to kind of write up some shows and, and things like that. I think the the really the I wrote like two sitcoms before taking the fall mm. that um, which kind of helps me um, like you know writing them all the way through um, the first like thing I wrote all the way through is this, is this show called Entry Level and I thought it was gonna be a movie but it ended up being like 250 pages which is not, <laughs> it's not a movie but uh, you know, re you know, refiguring some of those things and things sure, like that but sure. really you know want to make more projects similar to Taking the Fall and I think I've scripts similar along that line so that's that's kind of what's next to me I'm really you know itching to to get out and, and make another one.